By popular demand, we're doing Unix. <laughs> so, what are we doing about Unix? We're going over the final exam. What's what we're going to have? So again, it's about the same weight as the HTML one. It's about 25%. Well, it is about. It is 25% of your score, uh, your grade for the course. There's 10 multiple choice questions and 10 fill in the blank questions. And I have the exam with me today, so I can actually go over it with you. Uh, pull the right one out. Here we go. Okie dokie. So what are we looking at? I didn't put together a PowerPoint presentation for this because it's really hard to actually review everything that we talked about. So instead what I'm going to do is give you kind of question by question layout in terms of the content so you know what to study. There's no programming, obviously. Uh, review all of the lectures, the homeworks, and the projects as a good study aid for this. It's not coming out of any book. You don't need a book for this course. Uh, no programming questions. Uh, you don't have to write any, or you won't have to look at any source code either. No kernel building questions. No questions about the VI editor or anything of that nature, or any other Unix tools for that matter. So, so here's a list of the topics that we're going to cover on the exam. If we could keep the volume down so people can hear me, thank you. Okay. Um, so we're, we're split 50-50, so about 10 questions on multiple choice. And I can tell you right now the 10 questions are related to... One's about changing your password. Another one for displaying content of a file to the screen. So think about all those commands you used in one of the or two of the homework assignments where you did... Um, you used cat and grep and tr and stuff. There's a couple of questions related to those particular ex ex uh, uh, commands. Uh, example, you know, which command allows you to determine blah, 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 you know? Uh, which command would you use to do blah, blah, blah? <laughs> The blink blah the blah blah command will report the blah blah blah. <laughs> blah is the command that blah blah blah. <laughs> the blah command will blah blah blah. <laughs> Those are the actual questions, by the way. <laughs> and number eight. Which of the following is true? So we have a no, it's A through D, actually. And D it says all of the above are true. So, which of the following are true? And, and to read you some of the possible answers, Unix is blah, blah, blah. Unix is, that, okay, this is number, that was A. Number B, Unix is blah, blah, blah. Number C, Unix is blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's about general Unix questions. Um, oh, there's a question about file and directory permissions. Probably should know about that as well. And actually, let me rephrase that. There are two questions about permissions on the exam. So that finishes up all of the ten multiple choice questions, believe it or not. <laughs> Don't you feel like I just gave you all the answers? <laughs> There's the short answer questions. <laughs> and I wouldn't call them short answer. They're fill in the blanks. They're one word answers. And, well, here's the example. What command allows you to blah, blah, blah? We actually have to write the command. But it's nothing that you, uh, it's a one or two word thing. It's nothing, and it's all in the basic commands. Write a command to blah, blah, blah. That's number two. Number three is write a, write a command to blah, blah, blah again. Number four, oh, this is, um, the nature of these commands are copying, moving, listing out directory information, um, the basic Unix stuff. And if you go to this URL right here, let's see if this will work, actually. If I click on this URL, no, it's not going to do it, is it? Localhost. It's not on localhost. Wait a minute. Um, oh, let's see. Here it is. Yes, it does work. That's good. I put a link in here. Oh, look at that. Basic commands. So click on in the file itself. Um, let me go back to the file. Here it is. This is under the basic Unix command link. 
which will um, give you this document here, basic Unix command. What do we have in here? ls, ls, more, mv, cp, change mod. You need to know these commands in order to like get ace this final, I would say. You don't have to know all the switches. It's not going to be like that. I'm not going to tell you, like, you know, order it recursively, or, I mean, order it, you know, in ascending order by these three characters or something. No. It's more the, the high-level command with no parameters, no switches. So knowing how to use, what does ls do? You know, list out stuff. Um, change mod, uh, stuff like that. Some direct, make directory, change to directory. PWD to get the current path. Uh, so this is not a bad study aid, I would say, to download this, go through it as a checklist. You know, do I, do I know who what uh, who am I is? <laughs> you know, do I know what ping does? Do I know what finger does? Do I know what pass p a s s w d change your password? Do I know what that does? P s for processes. Um, you know, kill process ID. You know, to to terminate a process. <clears throat> um. Telnet, do I, am I familiar with Telnet, FTP, and in all of these commands we actually had in um, a majority of, or, you know, throughout the projects and assignments that we've done to the course. So, there, it's not brand new stuff. And at very minimum, after taking a Unix course, you should be familiar with some of these commands. <laughs> Otherwise, you really haven't taken a Unix course if you haven't <laughs> really. If you don't know any of those commands, then I would say that uh, you're in trouble. Uh, so you want to know the basics of uh, what makes Unix an operating system, uh, what makes it different from other operating systems. I talked about the kernel mode, the user mode. Um, overseeing uh, Unix uh, services, what provides the user, um, the kind of the networking capabilities of it, the telenetting, the FTPing, stuff like that in terms of concepts. Um, what do we have here? Um, as I mentioned before, the basic Unix commands that are in this document here. The document just works. I just loaded it up. Uh, file and directory access rights, the change mod command. Uh, foreground, background processes, the concept of the processes. The PS command, you get a list of the processes. How do you put a, how do you put a, in fact, there's all questions. There's one of the fill in the blank questions about foreground and background processes as well. Uh, there are questions also in regards to the assignments that you've done, and if you remember, we only you only had to do four of the, or is it three of the four projects? But you want to know the content of all four. As an example, there's a question on CGI here. So, what is CGI used for? Uh, there's one question on CGI actually, and just know the common understanding of what common gateway interface is all about and why you know. You don't really have to know why Perl is used with it, but you know, Perl is used with CGI, by the way. So, just from an overview perspective, but not from an implementation perspective. I'm not going to ask you information about writing out Perl, Hello World, or something. But that was the theme of one of the projects that we had. Uh, concept of scripting languages like Perl, what are they used for? This would also be in the area of shell scripts. I skipped here the different types of common shells. You don't have to know the differences between all the different shells. Know what a shell is. Know what a shell script is. You don't have to write one. You don't have to write any commands related to that. You also want to know, you know, um, the concept of scripting, the concept of distributed computing, and that would be part of the network environment um, as a concept. Um, but you don't really need to know how to implement anything. Concept of CGI interface. That would be more of a client server versus a distributed environment. Uh, here we got concept of distributed computing <laughs> makes this powerful platform. No details about the implementation. We didn't even go over that, like in lecture number 10, which we did not cover. Uh, so you don't have to actually review lecture 10, but you can in terms of the basics of what um, distributed computing is all about, some of the challenges, benefits of the platform. So. Uh, different types of text editors and email programs. You know what? I don't think I actually shoot anything about that, but let me just see real quick. Um, no. Well, I mean, know the basic stuff. Like, there's a concept of VI, you know, 
I think I even mentioned Nano in this course. Uh, it's another text editor. Um, you know, knowing that they're text editors is probably not a bad idea, like in terms of basic Unix tools. We have text editors. We have <laughs> programs in the bin directory. You don't have to know anything about the directory structure, however, for root or anything. Um, we have basic utilities commands that are used to list out files, concatenate files, sort files, open files, edit files. <laughs> so, um, what do we have down here? Um, a lot of the stuff is uh, with the editors, the programs editors. I'm not going to ask you about Pine, but that would be a con that would be a an email program that was going to be used for email. Text editors would be like VI Nano and stuff like that. Um, what uh, the differences between Unix and Linux from a concept point of view? Why was uh, why was Linux created? What is Linux good for? You know, you can't load Unix on a PC. <laughs> so Linux is a smaller version of Unix. Works on you know, personal computing hardware instead of mainframes. You know, that concept is not a bad one to take away from after taking a Unix course. Um, this It's actually not bad. It's worth 25 points, but there are only 20 questions. There are 10, so which means you get five freebies for taking it. <laughs> so, and all the freebie stuff. A, answer 10, get five free. <laughs> <laughs> so each question is worth two points. So. Uh, excuse me, each question is worth one point. <laughs> so it's either right or wrong. And it's, there's no multiple correct. It's one of the answers are correct. And the same thing is true, actually, for the multiple choice on the... Uh, HTML exam, there's only one right answer. So there's not select all that apply. That's really hard, actually. So. Um, and again, I think that the Unix exam is I would say is as easy, but and it's it's on par in terms of it's it's not the most difficult Unix exam I've ever created. Some terms I walk away and I go, man, that was a hard exam. Like the Java one from last time, I thought it was pretty hard. I don't know. But this time I walked away going, this is easy. I, I guess I was feeling like to give you guys a break or something. I know. Both exams turned out to be fairly easy. So, and actually, if you're taking the Wednesday course, the C++ exam is easy, too. So it's not too bad. Questions, comments, concerns? Software engineering exam is pretty easy, too. Nobody asked me about that one. Some of you actually already took it, though, but you took the weekend version. The weekday is multiple choice. Closed book, closed notes. And that's the other thing, too. Both of these exams are closed book, closed notes. And I guess what we, I guess you could probably say that knowing the Unix commands would be, you'd think would be more, um, more difficult, I guess, because of the fill-in-the-blanks. But they're really easy questions. They're not, like, stumbling hard to answer fill in the blank questions and there's multiple in a couple of cases there's multiple different ways of answering it as well but it's asking for a one or two word command for most of them that was quick but that's all i needed to tell you that's everything you need to know for the exam and this is available uh, on the bhacker.com website same as the html css exam and i'll repeat this again at five <laughs> but that's really all I had to give you. I didn't really have to give you very much. So. Question? Yes? Oh, an example of the CGI question. That's a good question. Let's see. Oh, let me find the question. Oh, the question is one of the fill in the blanks. And it's about what CGI provides. <laughs> It's actually definitional, and I hate to tell you, but I practically read you the question. <laughs> no, I don't hate to tell you that, but those of you guys who are listening, that's a freebie. <laughs> no, it's CGI provides. <laughs> that's a very good question. See, that's how you get the answers to all these questions. You just ask really good questions, and then you hope that I read you the question. 
Any other good questions? Yes. Ah, symbolic links. Let's see. That would be that would be what I'd consider a hard question. Ah, uh, let's see. There are no questions on symbolic links on the entire exam. Nope, no questions on iNode. I know that for sure. Those are good questions. Nope, nothing about melting either. Say that one more time. No. Nothing about um, file systems. Nothing about mounting drives or unmounting drives. Nothing about... So the basic unit commands, I would say, are really basic. A lot on files and directories. Yeah, making a directory, changing a directory, finding something in a directory, um, changing a password. Um, no, nothing about paths either. No absolute or relative path questions or changing between them. So you guys did the assignment, so you know. <laughs> the possibilities are endless, but no. <laughs> Nothing like that. This is really easy. This is easy. I mean, it's, it's very, when you walk away from this one, you'll go, almost as easy as the HTML one. Not as easy. HTML is still the easiest one. Okay. Anything else? Well, if you think of something, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be around. Example on shell. Shell. Let me see, actually. <sighs> and i got to turn the pages this way. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Somebody with a pair of binoculars could possibly get the answer. I get the questions. Um... There are no questions on shells. <laughs> I thought for sure, but I, I took it out. I, I, I removed it. There's no questions on shells. No questions on the kernel. That's what I said in the beginning. No questions on kernel, building kernel, on VI commands, Unix tools, utilities. Basic. Know the basic Unix commands that are in this document right here, and you'll ace it. It's all in basic Unix commands. And no shell scripting? Also. No shell scripting, no. No Perl either. One question on the definition, or re related to the definition of CGI. After I give you all that information, <laughs> there's no reason why you're not all going to ace it. <laughs> What else do we have? No, well, that's it. Hey, if you do come up with a question, you can also email me as well. Okay, anything on that? All right, we're done. <laughs>